Hello, Dr. Sheikh here, and I welcome you to the first phase of the Tentalist educational series. We'll be talking about all the subjects included in this phase separately. Now to refer to the subjects included in this phase, you will have to go back to the last video. I'll put the link on the YouTube card so it's easier for you to look for the video. It will be somewhere around the screen. Anyways, if you've watched it already, let's go ahead and start with the first subject of the first phase, which is the dental material sciences, or how some people like to call it, the science of dental materials. Now listen carefully. If you have a good knowledge of this subject, you'll perform better clinically because we mostly are dealing with dental materials all the time. And if you don't know about the properties of the material you're using and how it interacts with the surrounding environment, then you're doomed because you won't know how to handle it in different situations. And why this subject gets boring for students is because when they're taught about it, they have very little or no clinical knowledge. And that makes it hard for them to imagine its clinical implications because they have not studied about the clinical side of it. So my way of teaching the science of dental materials is going to be a little different. I will make sure that whenever we take a topic in, from dental material sciences, we study its practical and clinical implication along with the topic so you know why it's important. All right, this was just a warm up video. So for now, just make up your mind as we're starting this subject next week in a whole new way. Honestly, there's a lot more to this subject than just studying about the properties of the dental materials. So just stick with me and I'll see you next week. This is Dr. Sheikh saying goodbye to you. Take care till we meet again.